Now, once we have the login form, let's take a look at how we can style it. So instead of adding all the relevant classes inside this login.js, I'm going to create a new CSS file inside this style sheet. So inside this styles folder, I'm going to create a new file. Name this file form.module.css. So we are going to create a modular file of CSS. And inside this, I'm going to style all these form elements. So let me first style this input group. So inside this form module.css, here I'm going to say dot input group. And then I'm going to specify Delvin classes here. So as I said, to apply Delvin classes, you need to add apply directives and then specify your Delvin classes here. So I'm using flex, border, and rounded Excel. So this is going to specify border radius to this input group. Just after that, I'm going to add here position, which is going to be relative. Save this file back to the login.js. And at the top, right up here, I'm going to say import styles from double dot forward slash then specify the styles folder and then i'm going to specify the form module dot css and i'm going to use this class inside my login dot js so right here instead of this input group i'm going to get rid of this pass here curly braces and say here styles dot the class name which is input group so now we have this styling to this division tag when i save the changes you can see i'm going to have the styling to this division tag just after that, I'm going to specify styling to this input text box. So right down here, I'm going to say dot input text. And then I'm going to apply some Delvin classes here. So add here apply directives and then specify width, which is going to be full, which is 100%. Then add padding Y4. This will add a top and bottom padding. Then add padding X6. This will add a left and right padding. Add border and rounded Excel. So this will add border radius to this input text box after that i'm going to specify bg slate 50 just after that on the next line i'm going to add another apply directives and then add here focus outline none now that's upon you you can add this class after this bg class as well i wanted to put this on a single line so we can read this code more easily so i put another apply directives and then specify here focus outline none and border is going to be none save this file copy this class back to the login.js and to this input text box right here we specify class names in the curly braces we specify styles dot input text you can see i'm going to have this input text box here what i want just out of that i'm going to copy this class and then specify that to the password right here to the second input text box save this and i'm going to have this password field you can see just out of that i also want to specify this input group so i'm going to copy this and instead of this class name i'm going to replace this with the input group classes save this you can see i'm going to have this password just out of that i'm going to style these buttons so inside this form module.css right down here i'm going to first select the button and then i'm going to add here apply directives and right down here i'm going to say with is going to be full bg gradient to write from blue 500 and to indigo 500 after that i'm going to specify rounded md just after that right down here i'm going to add another apply directives and then i'm going to say here padding y3 text gray 50 and text lg save this copy this class back to the buttons right down here and i'm going to add here class names so let me add here class name in the curly braces specify styles dot button save this you can see i'm gonna have this button here just out of that let me create our effect on this button so right down here i'm gonna say dot button hover and when we hover on this button i want to specify some classes so add here apply directives again and then add bg gradient to write from gray 50 and to gray 100 after that i'm going to specify here border which is going to be blue 500 just out of that i'm going to add apply directive again and then specify here text gray 700 and just out of that i also want to specify border to this login when we hover on it so right down here i'm going to say border save this you can see i'm going to have this hover effect on this login button now let me specify styling to this sign up with google 
and sign up with github so let me specify styling to both these buttons so right down here just out of this button i'm going to add here button custom and then i'm going to add some telvin classes so add here apply width is going to be full border padding y3 then i'm going to specify flex justify center gap is going to be 2 and hover i'm going to create hover effect so i'm going to add here hover bg gray 200 i'm going to add these classes to both these buttons so i'm going to back to the login and right down here i'm going to specify classes in the curly braces i'm going to specify styles dot turn custom copy this class name and then specify that to the second button save this you can see i'm going to have these buttons here now what i want instead of having three submit button inside a single form i'm going to change this button type to button so i'm only going to have only one submit button inside my form which is this one this login button i only want single submit button inside my form so i'm going to change this type to button just out of that let me add image inside both these buttons to add an image as you know we already have here images inside my public folder inside my assets you can see I'm going to have few images here github.svg and google.svg I'm using both these images inside this login.js file so just add this sign in with google I'm going to add next.js image component let me import this component at the top so right up here I'm going to say import image from next.js image and inside this image you need to specify the source attribute so inside the source as you know we have these images on the assets folder so we specify assets then specify the file name which is google.svg don't forget to specify width and height otherwise you will get an error message so we specify here width which is going to be 20 20 pixel and height is going to be 20 you don't have to worry about this curly braces both values will return 20 pixel to these properties now let me save these changes and show you the result first you can see i'm going to have this google icon just out of that let me add here a github icon so i'm going to add here image in the src i'm going to say single code dot forward slash assets and then specify github dot svg the file name after that don't forget to specify width and now i'm going to specify width 25 pixel and height is going to be 25 pixel save this you can see i'm going to have this github icon here 